Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are solving March 2019 University question paper of the subject Goods and Service Tax. This is the part 3 of our video based on March 2019 solving. Again, a very important video for all the TYBMS M6 students. Okay? We have already solved question number 2 and question number 3. Now, in this video, we are going to solve the last question that is question number 4. Okay? So, let us see. Uh, what are the questions which were given in uh, question number four and how to solve them? Okay, the very first question uh, which was given for 15 marks was uh, Mrs. Dipti registered in the state of Uttar Pradesh. I'll just underline this very important point. Provides the following details for the month of October. Calculate her net liability for the month of October. Closing balance, okay, in electronic uh, credit ledger on 30th September. So 30th September ka closing will become uh, October ka opening balance. Okay, so they have given you all to remember whenever they give you this opening and these opening balance of IGST, CGST, and SGST. Remember, it will be calculation of you know net taxable uh, net liability. Okay, net uh, taxability or net liability calculation of net liability or payment of GST. A very important sum. Okay. After that, look at the question what they have given you. It's given sold goods, sold goods, provided, provided, inward, 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 inward. Remember, whatever, whatever you're selling, whatever you're providing, they come under supply. Inward supply is all related to your purchase. So now what happened in this kind of sum is that you'll have to first find out what is the tax that you have to pay on supply. Okay, or what is the tax you have collected on supply? Secondly, what, have, what is the tax that you have paid while purchasing that is inward and then we have to take into consideration the opening balance and try to find the net liability. Okay, so stick, see how we have to solve this sum. Okay, very important, very easy sum. Remember the state in from which he is registered, he or she is registered makes a lot of difference in the sum. So Dipti is from Uttar Pradesh. So consider we all are from Uttar Pradesh right now and we have to compare. Now, or remember whenever you are buying and selling from Uttar Pradesh, okay, if it is, you know, if I am from Uttar Pradesh and if I'm buying and selling also in Uttar Pradesh, if it's in the same state, GST will get divided into CGST and SGST. And if there is different state, then it will be IGST. Okay. So see how we have to solve. First step will always be we have to calculate on supply. Supply meaning the first four values. Okay. So the heading will be calculation of tax liability, particulars, calculation, IGST, CGST, and SGST. First was sold goods. Uh, at the rate of 28% to Jagruti in UP. So I wrote here, uh, sold goods to Jagruti in Uttar Pradesh. Now Uttar Pradesh, look here. We are also from Uttar Pradesh and we are selling it also Uttar Pradesh. Same state. If it is in same state, the GST will get split in two parts. SGST and CGST. Okay. So calculation may 10 lakh, 28% GST. So half of that will become 14%. So 14% will go to CGST. The remaining 14, I mean, uh, the remaining percentage will go to SGST. That is step number one. Second, sold goods at 18% to uh, Rushikesh in Punjab. Punjab and Uttar Pradesh, two different states. So entire amount pay, take the full percentage, 18%, which will come to IGST. Okay. Third, again, provided services to Akshay in Karnataka, different state, 4,25,000 into 5% in IGST. And lastly, again, you provided 12% uh, GST to Aksha in West Bengal, again, different state. So full amount pay 12%, which will come to uh, in IGST. Once I got all the four supplies, I added up the IGST, CGST, and SGST ka columns. So we got 3 lakh 850, 1 lakh 40, 1 lakh 40. Okay. So this this is how you have to solve. This is the step number one. Now, first, uh, once you are done with the you know tax on supply, now we need to find tax on purchases. That is inward supply. And the term that we are going to use is called input tax credit. Okay, so that's called ITC, input tax credit, ITC. So my second step will be now based on these, the next four, that is on purchases. Again, same format, calculation of ITC, particulars, calculation, IGST, CGST, SGST. Same state, the tax will get divided in two parts, if a different state, IGST. First is 5% from uh, Uttar Pradesh. So Uttar Pradesh is same, in the same state. So it will get divided in two parts. So 5% half is 2.5%, 2.5% goes in CGST and the other goes in SGST. Next one was invert from Telangana, different state, full percentage will go to IGST. 
Next is Karnataka, 12% again full IGST. Last 670,000 uh, from Uttar Pradesh, same state. The 28% get divided in two parts. 14% will go in uh, CGST and the remaining goes in SGST. Total it up and we'll get the total values. So first step was very simple. Get on all supply. Second, find tax on all purchases. Third, now here we are going to try to find out the setup, the net liability. Okay. So your third step. So remember these answers. Okay. The first answer was 3 like 850, 140, 140. Second one was 19, 200, 95, 750, 95, 750. Now I'll see how you solve the last part of the sum. Calculation of net tax liability. First will be tax payable, that is a part A on supply, whatever you had collected. So 3 lakh 850, 1 lakh 40, 1 lakh 40, step number one. Second, less opening balance of electronic credit ledger. Remember the word electronic credit ledger. If they give you cash ledger, you cannot subtract it. That remains as it is only. If it is credit ledger, because in the question is given credit ledger, we'll have to subtract those opening balance. And less ITC that we had got in the previous uh, slide, whether 19200, 95750, 95750. Okay, subtracted and you, if all the answers are positive, it is net tax liability. If it is negative, it means it is excess. You have paid excess tax. Now, IGST may we got the balance as positive after subtracting. And for CGST and SGST, we got negative. It means, it means, CGST and SGST, you have paid excess. Whatever was required, much more than the tax is paid already. IGST is positive. It means this much amount is still pending. Okay, it's still a liability. So the rule is now, if there is excess in CGST and SGST, you can use it to set off IGST. And if there is excess in IGST, you can use it to set off the other two. So in this case, what we'll do, we'll write less excess in CGST and SGST adjusted in IGST. So both these amounts got adjusted here. Okay, and we subtracted and we got the final net liability where IGST is 30,150, CGST is nil and SGST is nil. Again, a very important sum, simple, important, 15 marks. Okay, you calculate supply or tax on supply, then you calculate tax on purchase, subtract them with the opening balance, anything which is, if the answer is all positive, some gets over there. If anything is negative, try to set it off. Okay, the excess, try to set it off somewhere else. Okay. If CGST, SGST means extra set it off in IGST and vice versa. And you will get your net liability or net taxable liability. So this was the first question in your question number four under the paper, which was about 15 marks. Okay, I hope everyone have understood that. Now with this option, you had the next question, uh, 4A, Calc that was for eight marks. Calculate aggregate turnover of Sneha based on the following information. Now, remember turnover means anything which you're supplying, whether you're taxable supply, tax-free supply, zero supply, exempt, export, all anything related to supply will be added and that will give you a final answer. Anything which is included, remember if anything is included, cross multiply and get the actual value. So for example, in our case, uh, taxable supply is given first, 4 like 48 now including GST. It means this 44800, it already includes GST of 12%. So I'll say this is 112. So 100 is how much? Whenever inclusive is there, always cross multiply to get the value. Okay. Let us see how to solve that now. Taxable supply, yes, will get added to your turnover. Okay. So we got that 4 lakh uh, 48 into 100 divided by 112 will get 4 lakhs. Exempt supply, any kind of supply, yes, we'll have to take it. Uh, export supply, export is again a supply, yes, we will consider it. Inward per supply, inward is purchase, cannot consider it. Interstate supply, yes. Intrastate supply, yes. All the supplies will get added up and that will be your final answer. That is total aggregate turnover. So 4 lakh plus 85,000 plus 2 lakh 30,000 plus 5 lakh 90,000 plus 8 lakh 50,000 comes to 21 lakh 55,000. That's your uh, Mrs. Nia's uh, total aggregate turnover. 8 mark kile, the one of the most easiest sum. Okay, so this was question number 4A, very simple. Now, along with that, last sum of the paper, question number 4B. Uh, Kunal, who is a manufacturer uh, in Thane, provides the following. Uh, explain whether Kunal is eligible to offer composition scheme in the financial year. Again, now rule. If you're a manufacturer, the composition tax which is uh, comes to you, uh, comes to your mind is 1%. That is half percent CGST, half percent SGST. Number one. 
secondly check from where he is if he is from special category state 75 lakh is the threshold limit but if he is from other thane comes in mumbai mumbai and maharashtra sorry uh, thane comes under maharashtra and maharashtra comes uh, it comes under the other state so you have 1.5 crores rupees uh, threshold limit if the aggregate turnover is less than 1.5 crores then the person will be eligible to opt for the composition fee so now let us check again we need to calculate aggregate turnover that is only supply intrastate supply yes intrastate supply again yes intrastate supply yes inward supply no so we only have to add up the first three values so step number 1 you are finding aggregate turnover 12 lakh 50000 30 lakh 50000 and 34 lakh 60000 total comes to 77 lakh 60000 that's our total aggregate turnover now as per the rule 77 lakh 60000 is less than 1.5 crore so kunal will be eligible to opt for the scheme because the threshold limit is 1.5 crores he has sold less than that so now next step kunal's aggregate turnover is 77 lakh 60000 which is less than the threshold limit of 1.5 crore therefore he is eligible to opt for the composition scheme so if he is eligible let us find the tax so calculation of tax liability under composition scheme very simple i said told you manufacturer ka percentage is 1% so half percent goes to cgst half will go to sgst of your total aggregate turnover so cgst sgst 7760 into half 7760 into half that comes to 38800 38800 we add up we get a total tax liability under composition scheme that is 77600 rupees okay so these were the three sums uh, from question number 4 from the paper very simple okay i hope everyone have understood it it's very simple you just have to follow the rules and based on the rule you can solve any kind of sum okay so with that we will be ending this video here i hope everyone have understood thank you